everyone, it's Tina from Frugal Fun and Fabulous, and tonight we're here with another episode of Dollar Tree Gourmet. That's right, Dollar Tree Gourmet, where we make gourmet meals with Dollar Tree ingredients. Tonight's dish is going to be a baked gnocchi with a homemade marinara sauce. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So the ingredients that you're going to need are a can of crushed tomatoes. Some people prefer diced, and that's totally fine if you do. I like crushed because of the texture. I've also got some of the Parmesan cheese that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. This is a Parmesan cheese topping. I also have the gnocchi, which is available at the Dollar Tree. And the Zahava Foods, uh, this is the Monterey Jack Cheese Cubes. I know this isn't typical for gnocchi, guys, but this is a really good melting cheese and it's going to go perfect for our dish, trust me. So for spices, we're going to need some garlic. I've got the minced garlic here in a jar. You can also use uh, garlic powder if you prefer that. That's completely fine. And I also have some basil. This is dried basil. And some oregano. And then as always, as we include them, but they're not included in our ingredient list, salt and pepper. So, let's get started. So basically what I'm going to do tonight guys, instead of making this on the stove because it's a little bit harder to film and a little bit harder for you to see exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to mix the ingredients here in my pot and then kind of tell you exactly what I'm doing as we go along. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get a pretty wide pot here for our sauce. We're going to start with our marinara sauce, this is the most important part. So you want to take your crushed tomatoes, go ahead and pour them in your pan, just like that. And actually guys, if I can tell you. I tasted this uh, can of crushed tomatoes. It is absolutely delicious. I was very, very impressed by the flavor and quality of these. So if you can find these at your Dollar Tree, go ahead and pick them up, um, especially if you like dishes like these. This is made by, let me see, um, Homestyle Select Crushed Tomatoes. Here's the can. That's what I picked up. Greenberry International is actually the brand, which is the Dollar Tree brand, as we all know. Um, but yeah, no, it's actually a very, very good brand. So I was very impressed with that. All right, so go ahead and stick that in your pot. The next thing that we're going to put in is some garlic. So I don't know about you, but I absolutely love garlic. So I'm going to use probably a little more than maybe half of you would. I don't know. I don't know how you feel about garlic. Let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to use about, mm, for this size can, probably at least at least a tablespoon and a half okay so there we go so the next thing I'm going to do is add some Parmesan cheese to this now this isn't typical in a marinara sauce but I feel like it adds like a really salty nutty kind of more depth of flavor to your or to your marinara sauce and I actually do put Parmesan cheese like when I'm making like my Sunday gravy type recipe I do actually grate a lot of Parmesan cheese in there so I feel like this is going to add a lot of flavor to our sauce so what I'm going to do is add about probably a quarter to a third of a cup into our marinara here just like that okay the next thing I'm going to put in is our spices so we've got here some oregano and this is dried you can pick this up anywhere and the Dollar Tree does carry it I'm going to take about it's probably a good tablespoon and what I do when I put my uh, spices any dried herbs into my any sauce I take it like this and rub it to my hands and crush it up because it kind of releases the flavor releases the oil I mean using dried compared to fresh dried is a little bit stronger but we're actually going to need that because you have to remember these tomatoes don't have any seasoning in them at all there's no salt there's no pepper there's no nothing so I kind of want to bring that like you know uh, real like good marinara, oregano, basil, you know, flavor out of the sauce. So we've got to put a little bit more than you normally would, like say if you're using like a jarred spaghetti sauce. Okay, the second thing that we're going to be putting in is basil. And basil is, how could you not love basil? It's like a sweet, I don't know how to explain it, it's a sweet like um, earthy herb that just is so delicious and it just, when you smell it, it just like says Italian food. So, all right, here we go. Same exact amount of basil I'm going to be putting in for now. Same exact method, crushing it between my hands and just kind of dropping it in just like this. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm actually going to be a little sparingly on the salt, or go, go a little sparingly on the salt, excuse me, um, because our Parmesan cheese does have quite a salty flavor to it. 
So I don't want to oversalt the dish because you can undersalt something and fix it later, but you can never oversalt something and make it right. You know, make it right later. So it's much better to undersalt it than it is to oversalt it. So I put about 10 little grinds in there. My salt, uh, my salt grinder grinds really, really fine, so it wasn't as much salt as it probably looked like it was. Maybe like half a teaspoon or so. Black pepper though, we're going all out. <laughs> so take about 10 or 15 good grinds in there. All right. Okay, so we're peppered up too. Now the next thing you wanna do, this is the final thing, is actually stir this all up really well to combine. And then we're gonna cook this on a pretty low heat. I wouldn't say like the lowest setting that you have, but like the next to lowest setting that you have. Cook it on low heat for about 20 minutes or so because what I want to happen is all these flavors to combine. I want all of the oils from the herbs to come out and want the salt to kind of come out, the cheese to melt, everything to like combine really, really well in the sauce. And then, um, you know, then we're gonna be using it to top our gnocchi casserole, which we're gonna be baking in the oven. So combine it all really well, cook it over medium low heat for about 20 minutes. I'll come back and show you exactly how that looks and then we will uh, go from there. Now everything's combined in our pot, so what we wanna do is put it on our stove over medium low heat for about 20 minutes or so. Keep an eye on it, you don't want it to get too thick. Um, if it does get a little bit too thick, don't be afraid to add a little bit of water to it or chicken stock or anything that you might have on hand to thin it out. But we want a nice, good consistency of sauce to go over our gnocchi, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's gonna look as soon as it's done. All right guys, we're about 10 minutes into cooking our sauce and I kind of wanted you to see the consistency because I didn't get to show you earlier. Um, so here's what we've got. You can still see a little bit of the Parmesan cheese is kind of like hanging around there and that's totally fine because trust me, once you eat this as a whole, the whole dish, it's not going to matter that there's like a little tiny chunk of Parmesan like that right there in your food. Um, trust me, it's still going to taste delicious but I went ahead and tasted our sauce. It tastes absolutely wonderful. This is about the thickness that we're looking for. I actually kind of do want it to get a little bit tiny thicker um, only because it's it's going to be a baked dish so I want it to kind of hold up in the oven a little better than like say you would put over spaghetti or linguine or something like that. So anyway this is 10 minutes in. I'm going to keep showing you uh, progressions as we go throughout and I'll be back soon. Okay guys, so the next step is going to be preheating your oven to 350 degrees, which I've already done as you can see, and bringing a, a pot of water to a boil. What I like to do is add a little bit of salt to the water, not too much because these are made, um, these gnocchis are made out of potato. So like again, if you oversalt the dish, you can't really come back from that, but if you undersalt it, you can. You know, you can always salt it after it's served, so add a little bit of salt to that. And then we're going to go ahead, as soon as that starts to boil, and put in our gnocchi. I'm just going to spoon these guys in. I'm not blocking your view, but here we go. Get the full package in. Now keep a very close eye on those because you don't want them to overboil. Um, typically, especially with pasta, anything like this, the water comes up to a simmer and then it starts to foam up and then you've got a huge mess on your stove, which I absolutely cannot stand. So, just keep stirring and keep an eye on it. It'll take about two to three minutes. They'll start floating to the top and once they do, we're ready to drain those and then we're ready to put everything together. Okay guys, so I went ahead and drained my gnocchi as you can see um, out of the boiling water. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my casserole pan just like this. Da -da -da -da. But... Okay. So these are looking absolutely gorgeous. So what you wanna do, move the camera a little bit closer after this, is put your sauce on top. And like I said, my sauce is a little thick because I prefer it that way. If you like yours a little thinner, go ahead and add some water. Put some marinara right on top of those. Actually, a lot of marinara right on top of those. Next thing that you wanna do after that's done, is take the cheese that we bought earlier, and this is the Zahava Foods Monterey Jack um, cheese. It's, it comes cubed just like this. Just sprinkle it all around the um, gnocchi. Let's see. Okay, just like that. 
mean, I, I like everything cheesy. I mean, even my jokes, I really like them cheesy, so everything in my life is cheesy, <laughs> including my food. Um, Alright, so once you've got that all done, I'm going to wipe my hands off here. Stick this in a 350 degree oven for about, I'm going to go with 10 minutes, and then we're going to check on it. Alright everybody, so here's the gnocchi right out of the oven. So we've got our gnocchi with our wonderful marinara sauce that we made, and also the cheese, it's all melted on top. I wish you could tilt this a little further for you, but I just can't because it's so hot. But I'm going to take a taste for you. Wow. It is absolutely delicious, guys. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for everything that you do. I literally look forward to making you so many more videos, and I can't wait to see um, more of you guys because your comments and everything that you do are so amazing and make me feel just like literally on top of the world so thank you thank you thank you for everything that you do i will continue to bring you more if you have any requests please leave them in the comments down below or send me an email my email address is right there please 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 um by all means and i will see you guys soon thank you bye